Hello everybody, glad to see you all stopped in to check out another video. Today we're going to do another tech review. We are going to take a look at quite possibly the best center channel I've ever heard. Really, it's awesome. So just hang in there. We're going to check this bad boy out. So the evil geniuses at Definitive Technology are at it again. First, they smacked me in the face with those D7 speakers I did a review on back about a month or two ago and totally made me feel inadequate about every speaker choice I'd ever made in my life. Those things were just so epic. Hell, I even listed those speakers as my top tech choice of 2018 in a collab video I did on Gameski's channel. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it, check it out. Now they just go and straight pimp smack me with this CS9060. Uh, definitive, you guys could maybe do a little better with your naming. It's CS9060. I mean, it sounds like a droid from Star Wars. I love you guys' stuff, but your naming conventions. D7s are tight. I mean, that sounds good, D7, but CS906 here? I mean, come on. Seriously though, these guys are starting to give me some real audio self-esteem issues. I mean, I'm starting to really feel a sense of shame at some of my previous audio decisions prior to being introduced to these speakers. So today, we're gonna to be checking out their center channel. And I'm here to tell you, there might be better center channels out there, but I sure in the hell haven't heard them. In all seriousness though, I reached out to Definitive Tech in order to check out this center channel because after putting these D7s as my front and left surround speakers in my surround sound system, they were just blowing my old Yamaha center channel away. The really crisp, clear sound of those D7s as my front and left center channels really made the Yamaha center channel that I currently have just really sound like crap, just like a big turd. I reached out to them to see if they had a good center channel that could match up with those D7s and kind of balance out my sound a little better. If you don't know much about surround sound, your center channel is really the workhorse of your system. Your majority of your stuff is coming out of that center channel. You get some stuff out of the surround speakers and whatnot, but that center channel is really pulling most of the weight. All of your voices and movies and stuff like that's mostly all coming out of your center channel. So having a really good center channel is arguably the most important part of your surround sound system. Enter the CS9060 center channel. At first glance, you'll notice this is not a super slim wall mountable center channel. It's a little on the large side as far as center channels go. It's almost six inches tall, 12 inches deep, almost 21 inches wide, and weighs a hefty 26 pounds. The size of the center channel is not just to make a big speaker and take up a bunch of room on your console though. They packed a lot of stuff in here. It has two 4.5 inch round BDSS mids. Check out their website if you wanna see the more technical audio file description of exactly what the BBDS system does. But basically in layman's terms, it just makes the speaker sound dope. They just sound. I mean, these speakers just take other speakers and just smack them around like they owe them money. Just it's a little aggressive, Never mind. They have one one inch aluminum dome tweeter and drum roll please, wait for it. They have an eight inch integrated powered subwoofer. What? I know, go ahead, take your time, let it sink in, pick yourself back up off the floor. I had the same reaction, I understand, take your time, no rush, let it soak in. So what that means is you're gonna get a super crisp, clear sound out of the speaker with a richness, fullness, and low end you just can't get out of most center channels. With this speaker, it's not even necessary to run a separate subwoofer. If you're tight on space or don't have a good place to put another subwoofer, this can function perfectly well as the only subwoofer in your home theater system. And that nice rumble, that nice immersive feeling you get out of a subwoofer. Or if you wanna engage ludicrous mode like me. Prepare ship! Prepare ship! for ludicrous speed. You can still run a separate subwoofer and this one. So like with my setup, this one's in front in the center channel, I have a subwoofer up there, and then right behind my couch where I sit to watch movies, I have another subwoofer back there. So I have two subs in my system. Let me tell you, it really does give you very, I keep using this word, but immersive sound. When you have that explosions and stuff that happen in a movie, that deep rumble that like shakes your chest and you can feel it, really, really adds a cool effect. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
And it's a kind of thing you only get in like a real theater or like an IMAX or something like that. So it's really cool to have that in your house. Now I don't mean to gush on and on about the low end and ignore the mids and highs because that's definitely not all this center channel has to offer. The mids and highs are just as good as the low end on this thing. That's something Definitive Tech I found does really, really well. The mids are nice and full and punchy. The highs are super, super crystal clear. Really a clarity that I personally have not had in a speaker before in my own system. From what I'm hearing with my ears, these speakers could hold up to the most critical audiophile as far as quality goes. These speakers also have what Definitive is calling intelligent bass control, which basically allows you to adjust that low deep bass without having a bad balance effect on your mid-level stuff. It has a completely inert and resonance-free cabinet, adding to that clean and crisp sound. These guys at Definitive definitely take their audio seriously and it shows. Let me say before I move on, this thing is not just good for movies and stuff like that. Music sounds awesome on this thing. Slap on some old Jimi Hendrix, maybe some Chris Stapleton if that's your jam, or some old Comfortably Numb from Pink Floyd and crank that baby up and damn, life-changing experience. You're welcome. So flipping this bad boy around to the back to check out what we're working with, we have two gold-plated five-way binding posts, an input for your subwoofer, your power connection, a nice little knob for controlling the level of the subwoofer, and a port. As for the fit and finish, again, it's exactly what you would expect out of a speaker of this caliber. I think they have a nice, sleek, modern look, and they fit well in just about any setup. It is covered in a black, acoustically transparent material. It has nice aluminum trim engraved with the Definitive Tech logo, and a cool little feature, the Definitive Tech logo on the bottom actually lights up when you're using the speaker. Small touch, but it looks cool, so I like it. So I know what you're saying at this point, Jesus, Jeremy, this is just a big old fanboy love fest. First off, this is not a paid or sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. I did receive this speaker free of charge for review, but under no obligation to give this thing a positive review. I just really love this speaker. If this thing was a turd, I would absolutely tell you it was a turd. Or more than likely, I just wouldn't have even done a video on it because most of the time, if I don't like something, I just don't do a video. I've just been really impressed with the Definitive Tech so far and I wanna share it with you guys because when I find cool stuff, I like to pass it on. On the same note, there always are some drawbacks or negatives to everything. So let's go over those real quick. Now, when I say I'm calling these negatives, I don't know if that's really the best term. They're more kind of restrictions due just to kind of the form and the purpose of the speaker. I couldn't find any true real issues with it. One, this is a high-end speaker. You aren't gonna get one of these for 100 or 200 bucks. This is the middle model of three in this particular series, the CS series. It is the CS9060, and it will run you about 700 bucks. They also have a big brother of this one, which is the 9080, which has a sub and a base radiator. It's gonna run you a cool grand. And the little brother to the speaker, the 9040, that one does not have a built-in powered sub. It does have a base radiator, and that one's gonna run you about 500. Secondly, this is a big, heavy speaker. You are gonna have to have a dedicated place to put it, like a console below your TV or something. So if you're looking for something like slim and small to hang below a flat screen on a wall or something, this isn't gonna be your dude. So depending on your budget and your setup and stuff like that, you know, these may or may not be for you, but if you have the space and you have the budget, I don't know that you can do much better. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. As always, I will link stuff below. Any of you folks that are interested in these speakers, you can find the info on them. I hope this video was useful. If you are in the market for a center channel or for some new speakers to upgrade your surround sound system, I hope that this video had some good information and it will help you make an informed buying decision. If this video was helpful, feel free to just smack that like button like it stole something. Why am I wanting to smack owing money and stealing? what? Video is going to a dark place. What is wrong with me today? Jeez. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week, and we will see you in the next video. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go anywhere yet. Stand by. Almost rolled the ending too early. Forgot to mention. I know I missed my upload last week. I went a little longer than I like to without uploading. I like to upload at least once a week, and I totally missed that last week. I apologize. Good news is it's because I was doing some upgrades to my office. I've got some new gear that's coming in that I'm doing some upgrades. So I've got a bunch of really cool new uh, tech videos coming. I've got my 2019 updated office tour coming. I'm gonna be building out a, another man cave slash cigar room slash bourbon room right across from this office for a new segment that's coming. So super pumped and excited about that. So lots of good stuff coming on the channel soon, guys. So keep an eye out, stay tuned. Lots of neat stuff in the pipeline. All right. Really goodbye this time. See you later.
Go. Bye. Seriously, go, get. Just kidding, I love you guys, but bye.